I was wondering also with orgasmic meditation being a paired practice, so there's two people, were there any significant brain changes that you saw because it was specifically two people? And then I would say an added part to that question was, was there anything surprising that you saw in the brain? Well, you know, I think one of the things that we thought we had an opportunity to do, which um, to me, you know, it was very exciting to be able to, to explore is whether or not there were, uh, that there was sort of a connection that was being formed. Could we see some mm -hmm. evidence of that connection? And what we meant by that was, you know, were there actual correlations between the brains of the two individuals? So that was one of the things that we actually looked at. Um, and, and while that level of interaction was a little bit more subtle, um, it, you know, it, it seemed to be there. So there, it's meaning that, that when there were certain changes in, um, one person's brain, there were other, you know, there were reciprocal changes going on in the other person in the pair. And it kind of speaks to this idea of a resonance. So, um, that, you know, there is this kind of back and forth that's going on. And when you have that good connection, then again, the, you know, the social areas of the brain seem to be associated with that. And what was also particularly interesting was that there were even some correlations between the intensity of the experience mm -hmm. and some of the changes that were going on in the brain of the other person, you know, so, so depending on how the brain of the other person was, was interacting, that had some relationship to the kind of experience that, that the, that the other person in the pair was having. Um, so all of this to me was very exciting to be able to, sh to see that, you know, not only was there this sort of meditative element to it, but that there seemed to be this kind of cross interaction that we could start to observe by looking at the two, you know, the, at, at the pairs themselves. Uh, and how they seem to be related to each other.